Hey guys, so I didn't realize that people didn't know how to use Noxzema when I first recorded my experience with Noxzema video a while back. So I'm going to give you a short demonstration on how I use the product as well as the Koji Sun bleaching soap. So starting off, we're going to thoroughly wash our hands with soap and water, warm water, getting under the nails and all of that. Always, always, always when you start your skincare routine or regimen or whatever, you want to make sure that your skin or your hands are thoroughly clean. So what I like to do when I wear makeup, which is pretty much just filling in my eyebrows and mascara, this is basically my daily makeup that I wear. I don't do too much like foundation and whatnot. I'll go ahead and take some sweet almond oil and a cotton pad and remove my makeup then I wet my face and I take the product which is Noxzema the original cleansing cream and you can see this is a brand new bottle it's extra creamy when you first touch it it's a solid but once wet it you know I wouldn't say it turns into a liquid but it's not in a solid state you get what I'm saying <laughs> So I apply this to my face and I rub it all over. I know some people don't like to get it in their eyebrows, but if you really think about it, I mean, it's still skin under there. It's hair and skin and that can hold bacteria, dirt, oil, odor, all of that. So I go ahead and apply this into, well, on my entire face. By the way, you can also use this as a mask, even an overnight mask. So you would go ahead and follow the same steps, wet your face, lather the product on, and let it dry. And in the morning, you can go ahead and rinse it off. Some people have said that their blemishes, pimples, or whatever have been gone overnight due to using this as a mask. So go ahead and try it. Now, somebody asked me um, how long do I keep the Noxzema on my skin. I let it sit for maybe a minute or two. If I'm in the shower, maybe a little bit longer. But Noxzema has eucalyptus in it. So when the tingling sensation ends, that's when I go ahead and rinse it off. Again, when the sensation ends because it is deep pore cleansing, I go ahead and assume that when that tingling sensation ends that it's going to be as clean as it can get so I go ahead and rinse my face. Now I use a um, wash rag. If you don't want to use that, you want to use a napkin because you know some people uh, consider cross, crossing bacteria with a wash rag. Then that is personal preference. Go ahead. But I just rinse my face. If I wasn't using the Koji Sun soap that you see right now then I'll go ahead and rinse my face with cold water warm water opens up pores cold water closes pores so when your pores are closed you are making sure that you don't have any more bacteria well when your pores are closed you won't let bacteria and dirt and build up get into your pores which is which causes more acne and blemishes so Keep your pores closed and you probably won't have as many acne bumps and blemishes and whiteheads and all of that. Now this is the Koji Sun Soap. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. 9 times out of 10 I won't use both products at the same time. Maybe one at night and the other in the morning or however you know that works out for me. But this is a brightening soap if you don't like chemicals brightening chemicals, bleaching chemicals, then don't use it. Please don't leave ignorant, hateful comments. I love my skin tone. I love being black. Blah, say blah. But I do not like my dark marks. I don't like my hyperpigmentation. So I am using this soap to lighten, lighten those areas. And I go ahead and use it all over my face just because I have dark spots all over my face. Some people like to spot treat with this um, product, but I have acne marks everywhere so yes I use this product maybe a few times a week I wouldn't say I have sensitive skin but my skin is um, 
easily dried out so just beware of that and once I rinse my face off I go ahead and use a paper towel to dry my face I don't use that same rag next to finish up my routine whether I'm just using the Nagrima or using the Koji Sun bleaching soap I want to moisturize my skin nope sorry I lied <laughs> Sorry guys, I want to cleanse my skin just a little bit further and I take another cotton pad and use the Sea Breeze astringent. Now this will go ahead and remove any excess dirt, makeup, whatever. If you look at this cotton pad and it has anything on it, you need to go ahead and rewash your face. Just go ahead and do it. I know you probably don't feel like it, but go ahead and do that. I remember one time I washed my face. I thought I took all my makeup off. Then I did this step, looked at the cotton pad, and I still had makeup on the cotton pad, and I had to redo my steps. It will save your skin in the long run. It might be a little bit redundant, but it will help. As you can see, there is nothing there, and that's the way it should be. Now, this is the step that I do regardless if I do the Noxzema or I do the soap. I go ahead and moisturize my skin. Like I just said, my skin can start to dry out easily. Going back in with that sweet almond oil, I'm just going to moisturize my face. I got this from... Whole Food Market for I believe six dollars and it's by the brand now. I hope you guys like this video. I hope this demonstration helps somebody and I'll see you in the next one.